Good morning, it's Sunday, Christmas Eve, and I'm just gonna add a few more clips. When I was watching last night, I saw the victim advocate make some interesting faces when Wendy was on the phone. So I'm gonna show that, and I wanna show some more of Wendy's smiles, and then I'll leave it there, and I guess I'll think about her more next week. Another shout out to Deep Dive True Crime Mentor Lawyer. Don't forget to subscribe to him, click like, etc. That's a nice story. I'm just blowing my nose. You're all right. <laughs> Sarah, your job is very hard. It is. <laughs> you have a very nice personality for it. You're very calming. Thank you for saying that. That's kind of how I sell myself sometimes on doing this. It's so, really hard. Do you know Gwen? Gwen Williams? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it makes sense. Sent ahead. People do crazy things. Um, I really would like to get out of here. Very soon. I'm sure you would too. I know. And I'm on call this weekend, so. Yeah. It's a really hard job. It is, but. Yeah. You know, it's something I think's needed, and somehow I'm able to do it, and I don't know if it'll be mine forever, but it's. I think it's probably got a lot of burnout. It'll be hard to do this forever. My stomach really hurts. Um, My stomach really hurts. Okay, so this is the call. I played it. Now I'm going to pay attention to both of their expressions. Then I'm going to zoom in on Wendy's face. Then I'm gonna do it again, zooming in on the victim advocate's face because I'm just really curious and interested. Their expressions. No, I just like, I think it's a shock reaction. Um, you know, right? Shock reaction? Yeah. Oh, and I'm a, I'm a shaker when I get upset, so. Yeah, you should shake. I really don't. Okay, here it goes. This is, this is the worst day of my life. I feel like she's smiling here. She's suppressing smiles and then she covers her face. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Mom, I need you to sit down. I am fine. The boys are fine. Um, I need you to sit down. I'm I'm fine, and the boys are and the boys are fine. Danny has been. Da you can put me on speaker. Um, Danny has been shot, um, and I don't think he's going to make it, um, and so, I, I know, um, so I found this out around one or two today, and I'm at the police station, and I'm trying to help them figure out who may have done this, um, the boys, the boys are... The boys are fine. I had Lynn and Alan pick them up from school and they're with Lynn and Alan right now. Um, and I'm gonna leave here soon and go be with them. Um, but I really need you to come here and be with me. But I want you to either fly, if you, I mean, obviously you can't leave right now, but I need Okay, now I'm gonna back it up a bit more. What? And I'm gonna zoom in on. Hi mom, how's it going? Danny has been. Did, you can put me 
loudspeaker. Yeah. Um, Danny has been shot. It's a script. There are specific words that she needs to say. And even though her mother's interrupting her, she's not sticking, she's not changing the script. She's starting over so she doesn't forget anything. This is not somebody who is sincerely telling her mother that her ex-husband, the father of her two children, is in the hospital shot and likely to die. She's on a script. This was planned, canned, planned, scripted, in my opinion. Danny has been. so hard to see it's so blurry but i still feel like that's a smile maybe she was just clearing you can put me on speaker can you see a smile i'm i'm fine and the boys are and the boys are fine danny has been So I feel like she was about to smile. She was kind of smiling and she covered her face. shot and I don't think he's gonna make it so I'm gonna need some help me and the boys are fine he's dead just about <laughs> can you come down can you fly yeah that'll be more convenient thanks I got friends though take your time yeah okay cool okay, one more See reaction ya. to this call to her mom I really don't, okay, I really don't. Is... sound like a bitch Worst day of my life. <laughs> not Danny's life, not my children's life, my life. I swear she looks like she's suppressing smiles throughout this whole thing. Then covering her face. I should text them. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Hi, Mom. Smile. Then weird face. Her mom's blah, 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 blah. How about... Mom, I need you to sit down. Mom, I, I need you to sit down. I am fine. The boys are fine. Um, I need you to sit down. I need you to sit down. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. And, the and the boys are fine. Danny has been... Danny has been... Da <sighs> Interrupting. She's getting interrupted. This is fine. such an anticlimactic phone call. Danny has been... It's like... Yeah. Like, wouldn't you be frustrated? Wouldn't you be like, Mom, please listen. This is super urgent. Yeah. I've been um, wanting to call Danny you all day, shot. but I'm at the police station, and this is my first chance I've gotten. <laughs> Danny's been shot. Um, um, and I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think, I don't think he's going to make it. Look at that face. 
the expressions. And look at that expression I got in a screenshot. Hmm. I wish it was clearer. I don't think he's going to make it. Um, and so, and so I, know, um, I know. So I like, around like I would be more upset if a jar of pickles fell on the floor and broke than she is about her ex-husband um, in the hospital are, shot the and not going to make it. The boys are fine. You know? Not like perfect. absolute devastation. Fuck. Okay, I know this is hardly the best quality, but you can still get some sense of her expressions. This is the worst day of my life. Maybe I should text them if I can't reach them. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Mom, I need you to sit down. I am fine. The boys are fine. Um, I need you to sit down. I'm I'm fine, and the boys are and the boys are fine. Danny has been. Da you can put me on speaker. Yeah. Um, Danny has been shot. Um, and I don't think he's going to make it. Um, and so, I, I know. Um, so I found this out around one or two today, and I'm at the police station and I'm trying to help them figure out who may have done this. Um, the boys, the boys are, the boys are fine. I had Lynn and Alan pick them up from school and they're with Lynn and Alan right now. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. So unfortunately this is really bad quality. It's hard to give thoughts about her expressions. I still want to anyway. So she says, this is the worst day of my life. So the victim advocate, you can't really see her that well. But I do feel like there's a few points where she reacts very subtly. I did think maybe she made an expression there. I wasn't sure. Like, hmm. I do feel like this part was so weird how she was being interrupted and... I feel that Wendy was being really cold. Um, so right here, I she's like, hmm. around one or two today, and I'm at the police station, and I'm trying to help, help them, them figure out. Who that part right there, she's like, what? Um, I feel like as she turned her are, head, like so, her ear could fine, face her, and she's touching her ear. I feel like she's kind of like, girl, what are you saying? But again, I'm just interpreting speculation, allegedly. I just wish I could see it clearly to really see her facial expressions. And more than anything, I wish we could talk to her to find out what she was actually thinking. This bitch is crazy. I'm at the police station and I'm going to leave soon and be with the boys before they go to bed. They're with Alan and Lynn and they're totally fine. Um, yeah, the boys are fine, but they don't know anything yet. Um, and um i in his house i know um 
I know. So I, I just need you to calm down before you get in the car, okay? Okay, so, um, and it's, you know, it's evening, so if you want to come here tomorrow, I have a lot of people that'll, you know, be here with me, and, you know, we'll have a lot of support, so I want you to take your time and just be safe in getting here, but I'd like you to come when you can, okay? Okay, all right. I love you. Um, Um, I, I have, I think Jane might, I have the car here, I think Jane might, I have the car here, but Jane might, um, when you can, okay? Okay, all right, I love you, um, um, I, I have, I think Jane might, I have the car here, but Jane might take me, I'm not gonna be alone, so I have, um, I have a lot of support and I'll be fine, um, but, um, yeah, if you could just come here, that would be great. He's, he's in the ICU in the hospital. Okay, but be careful, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, love you too. Bye. Mom, mom. Oh. <laughs> you did awesome with that call. Yeah. You were so stressed out about it and you handled it. Um, I just wanted you, I talked to Alan, okay? And just because my, my suggestion to him, just because we don't know what's going on, um, was if he goes to the house. Sorry, my mom might be calling back because she hurt me. <laughs> mom? You did, yeah. I just wanted to ask if you could just tell Charlie for me. I just don't want to be making calls right now, so if you could just tell Charlie for me, that would be great. Okay, and just, like, it's on the news a little bit that there was a shooting on Trescott, and so I'm starting to get a lot of calls, um, and I'm not going to be answering them um, unless they're from you, so I would really try not to tell anybody what's going on just yet, just because, like, he's in the hospital and... Charlie, I talked to Charlie earlier today, obviously before any of this happened, like I talked to him at like 10 this morning and he said that he was coming to visit you guys this weekend and um, he had plans and he, he sounded good. I just, I, um, I don't, I just can't mom. So can you just tell him? Yeah, um, just tell him for me and then I'm sure I'll talk to him soon, but I just, I don't want to be on the phone unless I have to right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Love you too. Bye. My mom handled that pretty well. Could you hear her? Yeah. I think, you know, because you're a mama, but mom's always going that natural instinct to kind of protect and help and... Yeah. I'm waiting to hear from you whenever you can. That's Jean. And she said she's here if I need company or a ride. Do you think she meant here, like, metaphysically? Or here, like, in the lobby? She no, I think meta. I would hope metaphysically. And again, remind me, Jane's the neighbor down the street that kind of... Oh, no, Jane. Okay. What? Are you here? Yeah, I, I think it sounded like Joanna said she talked to her recently, though, right? The law school... No, not an external, but, like, the law school has a server that... Okay. Or a, I don't... You could work off of it in the building or something. I mean... I don't think I'm going to be going back to work, so you can have my computer if you need it, and, and you I'll figure out what to do. Okay. Thank you. Get it back. Okay. This uh, email to Jeff then, on the 14th, What I, I haven't looked at any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, I could probably find it for you, like, okay. in my... Well, I'm just saying, like, yeah. if we stop at my house, I can yeah. go to my sent mail and find it for you. What do you remember what she says? Uh, Basically, just... I was kind of vague, but I just said, like, I'm having a hard time my head and my heart are saying two different things right now and i just would really appreciate if i could have a week of no contact from you um to figure things out okay that's basically it. i mean you'll see but he didn't have you didn't telegraph anything at yoga you i mean, waited till after you got home right he was really like let's go out tomorrow let's do this let's do that i was having trouble saying no but i was feeling kind of pressured mm -hmm. um and so i mm -hmm. just no i mean i'm 
I'm a little bit on the passive aggressive side, so just having trouble like with the confrontation. Passive aggressive. Like hiring hit me. Yeah. Yoga. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. that's when you went home and decided. I went home. I actually was having a conversation with a friend who suggested the no contact for a week just to get some heads, like just to clear my head, and so I thought it was a good idea, and I wrote on. But I want to clarify that's because uh, basic. It, it, it that's because understand. I was trying to decide whether to get back together with him. Well, now you're like running out of juice and like. Yeah. Sure am. Um, getting some emails. Is, is Jane still here or did she? No, I think she meant metaphor. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, my parents sounded really surprised, so wow. it's at least a relief. Can you believe you heard? Well, my parents sounded really surprised. Oh my God! At least oh, that's a relief. Really what? You are. So She said, I was trying to think of, let me put this. Oh my God, well, my parents sounded really surprised, so. It's at least a relief. It's at least a relief. I was trying to think of who would be angry enough to do something to him. I was trying to think of who would be angry enough to do something to him. My parents would be angry, but they're not capable of the. My parents would be angry, but they're not capable of this. Thank God. Thank God. I really couldn't handle that right now. I really couldn't handle that right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, you fucking bitch from hell. You... <sighs> I swear to God, because I believe that she did this with her parents and her brother and then oh my god well my parents sounded really surprised so it's at least a relief i was trying to think of who would be angry enough to do something to him my parents would be angry but they're not capable of this thank god i really couldn't handle that right now <laughs> yeah no. um Can I ask Robin why Jimmy needs to talk to me, or just leave it alone? Leave it alone. I can't. Uh, I know. I hate to advise. I'm having those like legal situations. Then. Oh, here. I think Jimmy was the mm -hmm. divorce lawyer. I mean, this is part like this is Lisa Frank, just like a a friend of mine. I just read that there was a shooting on Trescott today. I hope you and the boys are safe. It's weird though. It's like, I guess the reaction is they're worried like. That Danny did something, right? Because otherwise, they know I like Lisa knows Do I don't really? No, that's not what they're worried about, bitch. It's, it's weird, though. It's like, I guess the reaction is they're worried, like, that Danny did something, right? Because otherwise, they know I like Lisa knows I don't live on Trescott. Um, so I don't know. Wait, Jane is on her way to TPD, but I don't need her here, right? Because I'm going to Alex. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, damn. That's some mind-blowing shit, man. I know that if I was going through something really horrible, I would want to talk to my support system. I would want to talk to my brother, especially if I was as close to him as she said she was. So I thought that was interesting. She didn't want to talk to him. And, you know, as soon as she got off the call, they were like, oh, wow, you did great. I was thinking, damn, bitch, you are cold. You are fake, you are scripted, you are 
saying things that seem weird to me because it just feels so like disconnected from what's happening unless unless you knew about it you were in on it you're all planned you're all relaxed yeah you're faking that you're crying and you're this and this and that's why your outbursts of hysteria are throwing detective isom off he's like what it's not that he's so insensitive and he has no idea that something like this is traumatic. This is literally his job. He's a de 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 <laughs> It's literally his job. He deals with people who are stressed and going through things all day, every day that he's working and probably also when he's not. And the fact that his reactions were like, what? To me was showing that the way her hysteria and crying and outbursts ebbed and flowed seemed off to him because he would professionally naturally expect people to cry into outburst but I think that because she was doing it you know not from the perspective of a person who's genuinely shocked and has no idea what's going on and is living through this nightmare but actually had planned it and was in on it. And like Jeff Lacoste said, she had been mourning and preparing. And like I said in yesterday's video, or maybe it was early, well, it was yesterday, but it was earlier in this video. Even if her parents were used to having the kids there every other week for a week, living there full time is still different. And I would imagine that there was some action of getting prepared. And her telling Jeffrey Lacoste we're on a break for two weeks also facilitated helping her not have to deal with him, not have to talk to him, not to not have to fake the funk and tell more lies. And I don't know where this David guy, her boy, her ex boyfriend, who was who Bree was the nanny of. I don't know when they were dating and like where he lived or whatever. So just throwing that out there, but. Man, oh man, oh man. So it's Christmas Eve. I am, it's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm going to do my best to see if I can actually post this video today. But I don't know because long videos take a long time. And so I recorded a bunch of more clips. And what I normally do is as I'm editing it, then I add more thoughts and more clips. But because this is already so long, I'm just going to, let whatever I've recorded be what it is and I'm sure it will give me more thoughts more points and we'll see Bye. Place a fairy might live.